Hello friends, welcome back to your channel, Learn and Earn, myself Dayanand. Let's continue with Excel VBA 2016 uh, tutorial, beginners to advanced in 30 days. And this is video part four. In this video part four, we will be discussing on macro recording. The list of items will be uh, topics I'll be teaching you today. What is a macro? How do you name a macro? recording a macro and assigning macro and how to run finally it's complete uh, uh, set of five actions uh, packed up in this one video so before we continue if you have not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe like and comment on this video thank you let's continue with our list today now what is a macro macro in a sense a set of actions which are recorded and can be used reused whenever we want it is something uh, automated just like recording a video and you watch video whenever you want similarly you record some set of activities actions on an excel and you store with the name you use the same set of actions whenever you need to repeat it with the help of the macro which means anything which is monotonous which is which you do on a daily basis that can be recorded and stored somewhere and you can call a macro whenever you want to he'll come and uh, perform those set of actions and leave you with the result i'll show you an example to make it very clear for you uh, have a look at this there is a, a table with some information serial number and the column header now manually doing this template takes some time but the same can be achieved with the help of uh, just a click of a button let us say i delete everything here now by just clicking a button macro you could see the template created automatically i'll run this again when just clicking on macro button you see the entire template is ready now what i have done i have recorded the macro by when i was doing it uh, first time manually typing serial number name top and adding all the border and one two three four five and stopped recording this macro and saved as saved with the name which i'll show you in the same video so that the major advantage of these macros are they are very much useful when you need to repeat the same task again and again with different data and they are time savers it saves a lot of time lot of time and they are consistent now uh, you got the definition for what is macro it is nothing but a set of instructions already recorded and used whenever you need let's continue with the next topics naming macro and recording macro first of all click on developer tab and then choose this option record macro so here the first option it says you need to give name name your macro with this there is no set rule or thumb rule you can use anything as your name for the macro i'll use my name say daya and there is no extension required or, or excel has nothing required it's just a name and shortcut key you can also assign a shortcut key say control p or control q etc this is useful if you need to run your macro with the help of keyboard than using your mouse on click and then store macro in uh, specify where you would like to store your macro i recommend to leave it as it is by default the option is uh, this workbook which which means macro gets stored in the same workbook you're working on if you would like it to be a new workbook you can start or you may also save it in personal macro workbook which is always saved as a default uh, which will be hidden in by default but i would recommend leave it as this workbook description uh, you may give description it's an optional uh, you you may give description because if you have uh, 10 macros working uh, recording and you don't know which macro for what you can leave this description here so it will be easy for you to come back and then do the uh, work, work with macros now once i give a name let me say i have assigned a shortcut key and moment you press ok the recording starts so you can start doing your 
activities so that all the activities are recorded and once you click on stop recording the, the macro automatically gets saved let me show you that i'll click ok here and you see this a button changed over to stop recording now i can perform a list of activities say i would like to color this space uh, this space with some other color and i would like to write my channel name learn and earn and now i'll click on stop recording now the list of activities were pretty simple all it had done is uh, coloring this section and then typing learn and earn this is a macro now uh, where do i access this macro all macros saved are available here the second option in the developer tab macros you could see the macro with a name here you may also click on edit which will take you to the vba editor window where you can also edit macros but i would recommend not to edit this macro because uh, if you are not sound in programs uh, you may not to worry about what is this coding and all just simply leave it however you may delete or you may step into the macro and then perform some more activities also possible here also you can run macro from here okay so now if i delete this whole stuff and then i would like to run this macro i go here click on the uh, click on run you see this the macro working that is about how do you name a macro and record a macro now let me show you assigning macro Assigning macro is now your macro working running perfectly fine. You need some trigger to uh, launch this macro Just like a button above here now. How do you get this assigned pretty simple? You may create a button from insert tab Under developer, but I recommend an ease, easy option here go to home Sorry go to insert you will find illustrations or shapes here pick up a shape that you would like to say i need a, a circle let's say pick up a pick up a, a shape give the color whatever you, uh, you would love with and then if you would like to name just double click on it and then give the name i've just typed as my macro here okay now how do i assign it pretty simple let's right click on it and click on assign macro choose the macro you just recorded that is the name and click ok now your macro is ready to run so now you are understood how to assign the macro let's look out how to run this macro so it is as easy as clicking on this that's it i'll show you that let me delete this part now uh, running macro is as easy as clicking on this button and the macro is ready so you can record any kind of action even you can record the entire excel workbook uh, multiple sheets you can rec record together it may be a list of paragraph writing you can also record together templates you can design you can formulate or uh, draw data into a, a furnished data using macros they are very much useful know their power or uh, go back home and then yes try working out some nice uh, concept using macros try working out uh, how do you record more more activities with different different screen different different sheets or using some formula save it and then uh, assign to a button and then try launching it you definitely love it because it is going to save you a lot of time if you're a real time uh, if you're working in any company on data analyst or a database uh, kind of a job on excel especially uh, that's about for today uh, in macro section so if you remember we i had given this list of topics i've in, covered in this tutorial we have already progressed the week, video number four now we will be moving on to macro security and i'll give you one more example in my next video and right from there i'll start uh, showing you a real you know, vba uh, programming that would be we will be writing our first video sorry first program on vba macro hello world on the video number six and do not forget to subscribe to my channel learn and earn also uh, do watch my other videos uh, when you come to my 
channel page click on videos here you find many videos on how to make money online there are some videos which will help you uh, learn how to make 30,000 to 60,000 per month by just w working 15 to 20 minutes a day uh, in each, every, each and every video I have given the description and a link in the description click on the link and do register yourself if you spend 15 to 20 minutes a day on each of these sites you can easily make uh, 30 to 60,000 a month a handsome income for you guys at your free time for now uh, see you guys in the next video video number five in the Excel tutorial until then uh, keep learning uh, keep earning have a great time all is well